Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel A Twist of Gem. Today I will be doing a recipe for pancakes. Pancakes are great, wonderful, and delicious. My only beef with pancakes is for me, I honestly can't eat pancake after pancake after pancake. So two large pancakes is good enough for me. They fill me up. I am in awe of those who order a tall stack of pancakes and are able to finish them all. Shout out to those who are able to scarf down pancakes like it ain't no thing. How do you do it? <laughs> Without further ado, let's get to it. For this recipe, you will need 1 fourth cup of melted butter, half a teaspoon of vanilla, a dash of salt, 4 teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half cups of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, one egg, and one and one fourth cups of milk. In a large bowl, add the flour, baking powder, sugar, and salt, and mix well. My egg ancestors must have been watching over me because I don't know why, but I usually suck at cracking an egg open. Thanks, egg ancestors. <laughs> In a small bowl, add the egg, butter, milk, and vanilla, and whisk with a fork. Make a well in the dry ingredients, then pour in the wet ingredients, and fold until there are no more lumps, but don't overmix. Thank you. 
In a large skillet on medium high heat, add some butter, then add a good portion of the batter to the skillet. The trick to when to flip the pancake is when you see tiny bubbles forming on the surface of the pancake. Then flip and cook on the other side for a few minutes. You will get the hang of it after the first few pancakes. I kinda just let the pancakes form a shape naturally so they all were not perfect circles. If you want it circular, pour the batter, then just take the back of a spoon and shape it into a circle. I love to use a cast iron pan for making pancakes. They get that nice crust. I think cast iron is the best type of pan to use for making pancakes. You can make two or three pancakes at a time. I like to do one pancake at a time because sometimes I struggle with flipping the pancake. What I do is I turn my oven on low and place the cooked pancakes in the oven to keep warm while I make the rest of the pancakes. When done, top the pancakes with butter and syrup and serve with your favorite side. You will get about 8 to 10 pancakes out of this recipe. Let me know what kind of pancakes do you like. I'm usually a classic type girl, but blueberries and bananas are great if I'm feeling fancy. Until the next time, enjoy some pancakes. Peace from a twist of gem. Here's some fun facts about pancakes. Pancakes are thought to come from Brittany in northern France. Did you know that when pancakes are made with wheat flour, they are called crepes. And when they are made with buckwheat flour, they are called galettes. In 
In 2016, Matt Stoney won the world record for eating 113 silver dollar pancakes in just eight minutes. Eight minutes? My God. The largest pancake ever made was in the UK and had to be flipped using a crane. The pancake was 49 feet wide and one inch thick. The pancake weighed three tons. The Indian version of a pancake is called dosa, a staple of most Indian diets. These thin, crispy pancakes look a lot like French crepes, but they are quite different. Dosas are made with a fermented batter of rice and black graham. <laughs> 